This short video will provide an overview of the Variables section. Click here to see the list of variables in the current dataset. The current dataset is indicated here. First, we'll talk about how this list page works in general. The variables in this list are grouped by category. All categories are shown by default. To control which categories are shown, click on the arrow on the column header. To show only one category, click directly on the name. To show multiple categories, use the checkboxes and click Apply. Categories are optional and are created in MarketSite. They help organize your data and can be reused for any dataset. To categorize a variable, simply select it by checking this box and then click on the Categorize item in the action bar. Here you can either select an existing category or create a new one. In addition to categories, the list includes the variable name, code, and the variable values. You can select which columns are displayed using this control. By default, the variables are sorted in the order of the original file uploaded to MarketSite. For a survey, this is typically the survey order. You can change the sort order by clicking on the column labels. The order will cycle through three options, ascending, descending, and none. You can also filter the list using column labels that have this arrow. Just click the arrow, make your selections, and then click Apply to filter the list. You can also filter the list by entering a search term in this box. That covers how this page works. Now let's talk about the variables themselves. Some of the variables in this dataset were uploaded with the original file. Others, such as these, which have letters in their icons, were created in MarketSite. We call them user-defined variables, or UDVs. UDVs are created by clicking on the new item in the action bar and choosing the type of variable you'd like to create. To view or edit the details of a variable, click on the name. On the window that appears, you can view and edit the different attributes of the variable on the Design tab. You can also apply your edits to other variables in this dataset. On the Missing Values tab, you can designate a particular value or a range of values that will be excluded when performing calculations in crosstabs. On the Dependencies tab, you can see all the different places where a particular variable is being used. If you right-click on a variable name, you can see the summary statistics for that variable. For example, clicking on Age, we see the counts and column percent for each value, as well as the sample size, mean, and median. You can leave this window open and right-click on each variable and see the summary statistics for each one. That concludes this video on working with variables.